Hey guys, it's Sparrow. I'm here to do a quick tutorial on a real fee and I'm going to show you the quick change system and then we can talk about some other things about the body and the uh, the new head change system so you can do little fee or puka fee heads. Okay, so here is real fee on the human body. This is Pano and here you can see here's May in her full set. So. She's a little taller. You can see how different she is on her legs. So let's switch Pano out to his legs. Here they are. Okay. So the quick change system. It is so simple. But once you see how it works, you'll understand a lot better. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this torso piece away from the pelvis piece. Okay. Now you see a hook in there, and then there's a metal ring around it. You're just going to pull that hook until it slides into that slot and that back torso piece. Okay, so it's in there. Now you're apart. That was so easy. And then the same way, same hook. I'm going to put that loop in there. I'm going to pull up just a little to release the ring. And, ta -da! you are so done. That is incredibly awesome. So smart. Okay. So, um, things to know about the body. It does have clicky parts. That's the hip joint. Let me show you inside. See that notch and then there's some grooves in there? That's a locking mechanism to uh, help you pose. So, can you hear it? It's also super soothing. But it will help you a lot in maintaining a pose. Um, you know, you can still do a great pose if your doll is strung well or suede well. But this is just, um, you know, come standard. You can pose. Another great thing about this is just uh, this bottom foot piece. It's just a ball and socket, but it really allows these feet a lot of mobility. Um, just for posing, stand, being able to stand, being able to stand in any position easily, this is a clever, easy solution. This also made their legs a little less chunky than perhaps some would, which I appreciate. Um, range of motion, you know, the typical fairyland. It's just now that you have, you have hooves. So, so that's how that looks. So we can compare this to our bunny legs. Pull her skirt up just a little so you can see her legs. So you can see how they've sculpted the fur. Actually, she's so white, you're having, right? it's hard to tell side by side. But they've sculpted the legs in a different fashion than the sculpted fur. She's got the same exact mechanisms. Um, and her little paws. You can see how far that curves forward compared to the other foot. That's just divine. There, that's awesome. Amazing. And um, another cute thing, you can see this little bit of sculpted fur. The tail kind of fits into it. It just looks you know, even though this tail is removable and poseable, it looks like it's part of the body. That's just a little nice thing they did. Okay, another clever thing is this head system. Now, pop open this faceplate. If I remember how to do this. Okay. You'll see inside they've given you all these magnet slots. Um, so this way you'll be able to choose what 
parts you want to put on and how you want them positioned. They provide you with magnets and you'll just put them in the slots that you want. These top ones are for like the bunny ears. These would be sort of unicorn horns. Um, these might be uh, horns or ears. It's just really nice. Instead of having to apply your own magnets, especially for the head, you can glue a magnet and it'll go through the faceplate. It's just a little more tricky. This is just a little nicer. It's a sweet, sweet thing that they've done. For me, who makes fantasy parts, this is just... <laughs> it's a dream. So, another thing. So here's your left with the head back. You can see this looks a little different than the regular Puka Fee, Little Fee. It's got this channel here. So, that's made for this head change system. You got to pick uh, whichever head back you wanted. I picked Puka Fee. So we'll see how these proportions look like. So this Pukafi gift, you can see, has the same channel. It's not the typical Pukafi head back. And that is so you can easily switch them. Also, something that they probably should have done. Okay, so here we go. Here's the hook. You can see it's a little X slot. I'm just going to pull it up with my clamps. Pull it up and turn it sideways. Okay, so there that goes. You're left with this weird little nub. This is what articulates the head. It's a good solution. Okay. Here is the Puka Fee head back. I've actually not done this, so let's see how this works. So, it looks a little tight. You can see that hook is going to have nowhere to go. Let me, uh, let me just pull this hook forward slightly. I'm making it harder on myself. Okay, so the hook is in. You can see that it's contacting this. Now there's a slot here. When I pull it, I'm going to pull it forward, I'm going to turn it sideways, it'll go into that slot. So let's see if this will work. So here you can see I'm pulling it up and forward. I'm going to turn it sideways. It's gone through that slot there. And now you have Pukafi head plate on. All right, so let me grab a face plate. Let's see. Here is, I've had this little jury, I think it's 13 event head. Oh, maybe it's 14. So we'll put that right on. So you can see the proportions. It's actually pretty good. I think with a wig and clothes, it'll be nice. I like it better than I think the little fee, but even that with clothes and the wig, it'll blend in. This will probably be a little better on the human legs than the, the longer satire legs. But there you go. So, switched out. I'll show you uh, May a little bit in her full set. She's the one I intend to use with the Pukafi faceplate. Because Pano is just an adorable sculpt. 
can see her ears, you can position them. And her rabbit legs. And she's got a little rabbit tail, which is a different tail than Pano has. Okay, well, I think that is it. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. This is, I actually just opened them up and kind of tinkered with them a little, so I'm no expert. I'm just trying to help out. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.